if you ever grown uh, any type of squash at all, you most likely are familiar with uh, squash uh, vine borer. And that is the main problem that I encounter whenever I grow any type of squash. It's this bug called squash vine vo uh, borer. And I just did as much and so many ways to try and control it or get rid of them. And it seems like there's no getting rid of those uh, bugs. And what I'm doing this year is I'm trying to be diligent by coming here just about every day and I figure if you control it from the start before it even hatch, if you look carefully here, I believe since I have been seeing the female uh, squash vine borer moth, I believe that's uh, an egg from the squash vine borer. It's been coming around and uh, flying from squashes, squash to squash. And this is, I believe, is what their egg looks like. I'm trying to get a better focus on that egg, but it's very, very, very tiny. Or you could see it's just a little speck there, and it would look like a grain of sand, even smaller. And what I do is I pick that and smash it. Make sure you smash it and you'll hear it pop. If you don't smash it, chances are it'll fall somewhere else and it, it will still hatch anyway. So that's a squash vine borer egg, egg, I believe. And I have been picking that one at a time and smashing it. And I'm hoping that by doing this, by being diligent, my squash would, here goes another one right there right on the leaf and by doing this I'm hoping that if I, uh, if I don't get them all I might be able to minimize the attack and I'll be able to harvest a lot better this year because they really devastated my winter squash last year I had to pick most of them earlier than I should just to make sure that they don't die on me. So, what I am trying to do now is being diligent and pick every little egg that I find on this spaghetti squash and hoping that I could control my squash vine borer problem this year. And if any of you knows of a very good way to prevent squash vine borer, I would really appreciate any tips from anyone. So right now, that's how it looks right now. I am being diligent, trying to pick as much squash vine borer and any other type of eggs off the stems, the leaves, and you would even see them under I forgot what you call this curly cues thing is here. <laughs> you would actually even see them in here. Okay. So I know we don't have that much time to be doing things like this. Not too many people can stand here every day or every other day looking for squash bind borer egg to smash them. But when you do find time, this is how they look just a speck or it looks similar to a grain of sand and you find them on top of the leaves the bottom and in this case this one here is right on the stem of this leaf here I will be picking that as soon, soon as I get done with this video you find them just about anywhere okay so that's what I'm doing to prevent my squash vine borer from 
devastating any of my squash plant this year. See those two little dots there? Those are squash vine borer eggs. So be sure to take a good look at every part of your vine if you can. So those are two squash vine borer. I will be picking that as well. Here's another one. Right there, that's a squash vine borer egg. And so far I have smashed about three and these are three more so far. Additional to what I already smashed and I just saw another one. I'll show you every part of the plant that they practically would lay egg just about anywhere right there that's a squash vine borer egg I will be picking that for sure so I guess all it is is it will take a little diligence to try and fight this bugs off of any of your squash plant because I have tried so many ways last year. Here goes another one. Right there, tiny little speck. I know I won't be able to find each and every little squash bind borer egg, but what I can, I will try to dispose of. This is how my uh, spaghetti squash looks right now. That's a female spaghetti squash, and sadly enough though, I don't have a male flower from any of this spaghetti squash blooming yet, so chances are I will be losing this two spaghetti squash right here. You know that it's a female spaghetti squash because right here, you see this nice little, little rounded uh, oval shaped growth right here under the blooms. That's how you can tell that it's a female uh, flower. Her that's the other one right there now there's no male flowers no male flower blooming yet and the way to tell a male flower is right here this will be a male flower of this spaghetti squash here's another one and they are not going to bloom today I can tell that for sure here goes another female spaghetti squash right there. And that's about to bloom by tomorrow. Most likely that uh, bud will bloom. And quite a lot, quite a few female spaghetti squash. I'm almost getting impatient now because I know I'm going to be losing some of this uh, female spaghetti squash which are now waiting to be pollinated and there's no spaghetti squash uh, blooming yet so I don't know if they will cross pollinate with well these are a type of squash and over there in that corner if you see that that's a male zucchini so I don't know if that could happen I've heard that you can pollinate it with, uh, although it's not exactly the same, but it's a same type. It's a type of squash that you can pollinate it. I don't know, but anyway, <laughs> that's just wishful thinking. Well, here is this 
the squash bind borer moth I managed to catch one and it wasn't easy I really don't like touching bugs but as this one were, was close to my hand I did my best to smash it <laughs> slap it around and it didn't feel good and trust me the, I guess because I was smacking it all around to try to catch it a lot of the, those powdery substance that it has in it, its body were oops, were uh, I guess um, cleaned up of its body it was this part here the body this was red which you could barely see the redness a bit now I guess I sh all those powdery substance is what gives it that reddish color and the wing would be what's, what gives it the red and black color and uh, that's a uh, squash vine borer moth which I managed to catch it's not a pretty sight I know but she has been the reason why I have problem growing my squash any type of squash and that's what it looks like right there actually this is a smaller type there's another big one there that's flying around that's a dirt right there so this is the enemy of my squash in my garden squash vine borer squash vine borer moth right there oh well just in case you're interested and would like to see how it looks like at this point it looks almost like a fly <laughs> a big fly because it's dead and for some reason I must have knocked up the color that gives it that red and black color but I can't focus my camera so well it still had that reddish tint to its body without those powdery substance well that's the female squash bind borer moth okay so I'll be giving an update and we'll see if I manage to somehow minimize my squash bind borer problem this year. Thank you for watching. This is Green Y